So now our next category is the Community Care and Health and Volunteer Award. To present um, the Anglicare TAS Community Care and Health Volunteer Award, joining us today is Dr. Chris Jones, CEO of Anglicare Tasmania. Thanks so much, Chris. Good afternoon, Lisa and everybody on the screen. Um, well, these awards tend to be about um, how wonderful volunteers are, and of course they are, um, but it's also good to remind people that contributing in this way brings rewards because it helps volunteers themselves understand better and appreciate the shared humanity about, I mean, growing in compassion and learning from other words uh, and in, from others. In other words, it tends to be, if it's done well, a two-way street. It's not one-sided giving to those who are poor and or vulnerable. So whilst we thank volunteers today, there's also an opportunity to thank organisations who make volunteering possible. Thank you. Thanks so much, Chris. It's a really important message that we do need to take on board. So there were three finalists for the Anglicare Tasmania Community Care and Health Volunteer Award. The first of these was Diane Reynoldson from Catholic Care Tasmania, AK Young Women's Shelter. For over nine years, Di has been an active supporter of the Catholic Care AK Crisis Accommodation Service for young women experiencing homelessness. Di has demonstrated tireless commitment by attending the shelter weekly to undertake art sessions with the residents. Through her professional and nurturing approach to art and the expression of self, Di enables young people to shift their thinking away from their troubles and makes time to focus on a creative project. She allows young women to develop a belief in themselves and their abilities. Through the establishment of a fruit and vegetable garden, Di has also encouraged young women to actively learn about healthy eating and growing your own produce. Di brings an honest compassion and genuine respect to her engagement with young people. She is gentle by nature with a strong and powerful sense of kindness and a heart of gold. The next finalist is Ken Harris from Skin Cancer Tasmania. Ken is a passionate volunteer at events for Skin Cancer Tasmania and many other not-for-profits and causes that he believes in. Despite living with his own health challenges, Ken is the first to put his hand up to organise fundraising events for various causes. For the past three years, Ken has orchestrated and almost single-handedly undertaken the Run From The Sun ride an awareness and fundraising event targeting secondary schools and colleges in order to raise awareness around the dangers of melanoma. This ride has since been duplicated nationally. His actions are truly saving lives and through his courage in talking about his fight with the disease, not only at this event, but at other events and on TV, radio and online media platforms, Ken has been able to reach many thousands of Tasmanians. The third finalist is Nada Hanna. Migrant Resource Centre Tasmania. And I did see a big group of the Migrant Resource Centre volunteers and staff there before on the screen. NADA volunteers with the Migrant Resource Centre Humanitarian um, Settlement Program and Aged Care Services. Her role supports newly arrived refugee families to build skills and knowledge to be independent and active members of society. She supports families in the using of public transport, accessing services and appointments showing where groceries can be bought and any shops that specifically cater to their cultural background. Nada is an inspiration as she is always cheerful with a no worries attitude. She is flexible, adaptable and encouraging of the families and individuals that she interacts with. She continues to be gracious in difficult times and brings calm to each situation she faces. Nada is an inspiration who has overcome adversity to dedicate her time to supporting others. And the winner of the Anglicare Tasmania Community Care and Health Volunteer Award is Diane Reynoldson from the Catholic Care Tasmania, AK Young Women's Shelter. Congratulations, Di. And congratulations to Ken and Nada. You've got some amazing contributions there and we thank you so much for them.